Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array. You may have seen in some of our other tutorials that we'll take the time to highlight certain key elements. Maybe it's an entire section within Premiere Pro, or maybe it's just a small label. Either way, highlighting these elements can really help to focus your audience's attention exactly where you want it to go. So today we're going to be showing you exactly how to get this effect. And we're also going to show you one other method in case you want to highlight, say, a chunk of text for example. So open up Premiere and let's learn how to highlight together. The first step we're going to take is finding the point at which you'd like to highlight a piece of your footage. Before you get to work highlighting, do all that you can to make sure that even if you didn't highlight anything, you've done your best job at drawing your audience's attention to your item. For us, this usually means zooming in and centering those items in question. This needs to happen first because we're going to be duplicating our footage, so any effects or changes need to be completed before the highlighting process. Now duplicate your footage and stack them directly on top of each other. For the moment, drop your opacity of your bottom clip down to below 50%. Now you shouldn't see any changes take place yet, because you've still got the duplicated clip over top. But here's where that changes. Go to your effects panel and search for crop. You can also create a mask instead, but cropping will allow us to easily get perfect straight lines. Next, drag it onto your top layer, and then start to adjust the top, bottom, left, and right sliders to leave only the section of video that you want to be included. This will be the section that gets highlighted. You can see that around the crop is a faded version of the video, which makes it look like we've dropped out everything except what we want the audience to focus on. Additionally, you can feather the edges of your crop so that it fades a little bit more gradually into the rest of your footage. Great, so this is what we have so far. It's good, but we actually want our highlight effect to gradually fade in. So go to the bottom layer and make sure that the keyframe is set for opacity. Make four keyframes, two at the beginning and two at the end. Now raise up the first and last keyframes to start and end at 100%. So now what we have is a fade into the highlighted effect and a fade back out into our normal shot. Great! And that's how we do our highlighting effect here at Motion Array. It's pretty simple once you get the system down, but it's really effective to be able to use in a variety of different situations. But let's take this concept and now apply it to something else that you might be able to use in the future as well. Let's say, for example, you wanted to show some text being highlighted to show its importance. We can do what we just did, but take it a step further. I have some text here that we're going to use, and I've stylized it with a bit of a background. So what we want to do is create an effect where we highlight the text color without covering it. Step 1 is to get your text onto your timeline and format it so that it looks the way you want it to. You can screenshot a document, export it as a JPEG, or manually type it out yourself. But now that you have it, duplicate that layer in Premiere Pro and stack it. Now drop your opacity so that you can see what you're working with, and use the crop or masking tool to include only what you want to be highlighted. Now that that's done, raise your bottom layer opacity all the way back to 100% and don't add any keyframes. Instead, on this top layer, we're going to be doing some color correction. You can do one of two things. You can use Lumetri Color and go to the basic color correction changes to use things like color temperature and tint to change the color of your highlight. Or you can go down here to the color wheels and dial in a more specific color. The other option you have is to go to the effects panel and search for tint. This will give you a potentially deeper and thicker color than the previous option. And it's also the option that we're going to use in our example. Choose what you want to map the white or black sections of your footage to and select the color that you want your highlight to be. For us, we have black text on a white background. So we're going to leave the black swatch as it is and we're going to choose the white swatch and move it to be red. That looks great, but we want to animate it. So to mimic like somebody is making a pen stroke, we're going to go to the effects list and search for linear wipe. Drag and drop it onto your footage and then drag your transition completion slider all the way over. And you can start to see the effect that we're going for. Now make two keyframes, one at 100% and one at 0% and spread them out. If the effect is reversed from what you're hoping for, you can change the direction by simply either typing in 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees to switch it from left to right or right to left. And with that, this is our effect. That's how simple it is to make a highlight effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, we've got tons of other tutorials over at motionarray.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.